Hall of Fame football player, a back-to-back -back national champion, and a participant in three All-Star games. Our Brett Kennedy has more on a super mom that has all of this on her resume. Louise Bean is your typical mom, happily married with three kids, has worked for the school districts and the travel industry. Oh, plus she's a national champion quarterback for the Utah Falcons semi-pro women's football team. And last year she was one of 36 inductees into the inaugural class of the Women's Football Hall of Fame. I grew up playing football just in the backyard and, and uh, with friends and uh, as I got older I played intramurals because uh, they didn't have anything for girls obviously and my, didn't, my mom felt like it wasn't good to have a girl play tackle at a young age and so I just played a lot of intramurals, a lot of flag, just just all growing up so and I was always quarterback and then when my husband and I were dating we would play a lot of pickup games and I was still quarterback and he was the wide receiver so when it came to Utah about 10 years ago I just saw an article and just went from there. After Bean helped start teams like the Utah Blitz and the Utah Jinx, it was on to the Falcons where her skill truly shined brightly. In the five-year history of the team, the Utah Falcons are 49-2, and two, having appearances in the last four national championships and two title wins in 2016 and 2017. For Bean, she doesn't look at the gender aspect of playing in a predominantly male sport. That's not why I played. I played because I purely love the sport. It was just a game. I don't get caught up in women Men this, men this, agenda that, anything like that, because I've just always had to prove myself in anything I've done. It doesn't matter what my sex was. And so it's just been fun. And I love it when men are impressed because, you know, they're still like, well, I wonder if a girl can play that good. And it's awesome when guys are impressed. Uh, but I've been doing that my whole life, trying to compete, earn my spot in the world. And so to me, I don't worry too much. I'm a girl playing football. When Bean's family moved to Great Falls, she stayed involved with her Utah team by commuting to play in their spring seasons. To help stay in shape, Bean practiced with one of the Treasure State's best eight-man teams last year. I threw with high school boys here. Uh, I actually spent time with Central this past year on their state championship run. I was their scout team QB. And that's a great program over there. They got some great coaches. Uh, so I have to do things at the gym different. I've thrown to junior high kids, I've thrown to high school kids. Uh, I would commute for certain practices and certain games, so it's de it was definitely mentally and physically demanding. I've never been around eight-man football unless it was flag. The Central guys are awesome. I was way impressed with their program, way impressed with their coaches. Uh, I, I couldn't even tell the difference between eight-man schemes versus 11-man schemes as far as their ability to uh, scout and also just to prepare. Uh, I can't say enough about their program and obviously it was reflected in their kids that got scholarships and that's a no joke program. Bean will play in the third all-star game of her career in early March down in Cancun, Mexico. This time being a part of Team USA. She's uncertain of her football future but Bean says she still loves the sport so her already impressive career might add another chapter or two down the line. Brett Kennedy, MTN Sports. Well, Bean's family might end up moving back to Utah soon. She said she might go into coaching one day once her playing days are over.